Yes, so, uh, well, I'd like to take credit on behalf yeah, of yeah. Ayala, so thank you very much. <laughs> well done, Stella. Very, very good to cut. Yeah. Thank you. But I'm, I'm still hoping that you win. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Stella from Meeple University. And I'm Henry from Hen Solo Board Games. And for this Hen Solo, we're very excited to be playing Endless Winter, Paleo Americans, designed by Ooh. Stan Kudunsky and published by Fantasia Games and Gulf Studios. <laughs> yes, I am indeed part of Gulf Studios. And what we have here, Hen, is an advanced production copy for Gulf Studios. Yeah, it, um, it looks really amazing. Um, it's been really fun playing a couple of games of this. Uh, can you tell us more about the game, Stella? No. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Endless Winter Paleo Americans is a game where you pretty much play as prehistoric tribes surviving the Ice Age in uh, North America. So the game has worker placement, deck building, engine building, area influence mechanics, and don't forget the art was done by the Miko. <laughs> yeah, it was like really, really striking arts there. Looks really uh, good, yeah. Indeed. So the game itself plays one to four players, and of course we'll play the solo play this time. And solo, so you can see how the bot works and how to hopefully defeat the bot head. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I'll defeat the bot for once, let's hope. So um, I also recommend you to watch our how to play uh, video. Mm. We have that already published. So you can hopefully easily follow along this playthrough. Um, I'll put the link in the description below and it will pop up somewhere. Yeah, Taryn does a really good job explaining in that video. It's really easy to follow. Thank you on behalf of Taryn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so once you've watched that, you'll be ready to follow along with this playthrough. I'll start by explaining how the bot's going to work, and as I go along, I'll explain all the actions as they go. Um, so let's get to the table. Just a quick overview and refresher if you've seen the, the how to play. Uh, so in this game, we both have three workers that we're going to be playing every turn, and these workers can go up to five different action spots. I'll give you a basic overview of it each of the action spots do, and how they function with the cards in our hands. So, um, each player has, I'll show you my board here. Each player has two workers and a chief. These are gonna be your workers during the round, and these workers can go to these five, four action spots on the board, and there's also one action spot at the top of your board here. So this first action spot is for obtaining more members to your clan. So here you're going to be able to spend hands and um, tools to grab um, clansmen from this um, row of clansmen here. They're all stacked with the same. And these are going to like modify your decks in different ways. Uh, you'll be able to do this up to five times. You have to take a different card each time you do it. This is like an infinite action zone. This yellow bar is like a one-off thing that you do from when you go here. So this one lets you spend food in order to take clansmen to your discard pile and also bury clansmen. Just like trashing a card in They're the They're kind of like trashing, but they yeah. also give you some extra points based That's on right. the idle track. And this this guy is your first one here. So each of the tracks have this spot. That's like gives you a reward if you're the first one to use this spot. This one gives you one idle on the idle track which is this track over here. We're gonna push you up. There's two sides. One gives you points for resources at the end of the game, and the other side gives you points for your burial cards. And this is scored based on who's first and who's second. And this is just based on a conversion rate at the end of the game. So this will give you an idol and let you bury a card. So this can be a card that you've played or a card in your discard pile and you can put it under your burial um, spot on your board. On this track, it's going to let you spend a number of hands to recruit culture cards into your directly into your hand. Which is this one. That's, these, that's these cards here. And there's a whole bunch of these. There's going to be eight drawn at the start of each round. And they're going to get refilled. And the game will switch over to a second era halfway through. And we'll draw from a different deck. And the cards will be slightly stronger. Um, for the rest of the game. And these are the one that you play before you place your workers Correct. and they So will these are like additional resources and actions that you can do prior yep. to your turn. 
And you can play up to one of these at the start of your turn for free, and every additional one costs you a card to discard before you play it. And you can also get these... Um, the score, yeah, sacred, sac stone. sacred stones, sacred stones. Thank you, Stella. Um, from here, so you can spend food and tools, and you take these sacred stones and place them into your player board. And they usually get uh, give you some end of round bonus. Yeah, so they'll cost a tool and a food to put here. The first one does. It gets more expensive as you go, and they'll give you an immediate bonus, and they'll give you like an obscuring objective that you'll get scores, that, that you'll score points every eclipse phase. So which is end of round. Which is generally end of each round. Usually, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, this guy, this track, um, will interact with the exploring. This is exploring and interacts with this map over here. So say you get your tents and your villages out onto the board and it's kind of a bit area controly area going Correct. on here. You're fighting over these spots, and these spots are going to give you some resources and additional things during the eclipse phase. So you're trying to have the most control of these spots, or at least equal most, and then you'll get these each eclipse when it comes around. So, and you can turn your villages into um, your sorry, turn your tents into tents. A, into a village yep. by having them in this triangle formation, and that's the like second part of this action long here. And you do this once every time you do this turn. And the bonus here is to put out a tent and move it for free. And the hunt track interacts with this board over here. This is how you're going to get animals into your tribe. These are animals that you can sacrifice for resources or they do a set collection. So you want to be trying to collect up to four of these to get 10 bonus points. And some, some are rarer than others, so some give you more points for less cards. It actually says on the, the card yeah, how many Yeah, so these will have cards. 10 copies of each one of these, but there's some with five copies of them as well. Right. And uh, this one will let you sacrifice an animal to get food and tools and uh, other various bonuses and randomly pick them from the top of the deck if you're first one there. Right. They're the four core actions. There is one more if we come to our board here that you can place your worker down here. And this is going to let you draw cards from the deck, sacrifice animals, and increase your influence over the upcoming eclipse phase. So before the eclipse, you may want to play out a bunch of cards. You see, these are deck building up the top as well. here. And that's, yeah. So you get ready for Eclipse, right? And having the most hands for the Eclipse lets you pick where you go in turn order. So if you have That's the right. most, you get to go to the top of the track, which gives you the best bonus as well. So winning the Eclipse phase is really important. And also for any cards that you save and didn't spend during that turn, you can add them to your Eclipse track to get additional actions. The actual, so you don't use the top action. You don't use the top track, action, yeah. you use this bottom Eclipse action here. There is one more area of the board that we have not discussed, which is the megaliths. So when you see this symbol here, it will come up mostly on cards and on the terrain tiles. You'll be able to place these. Um, push it down a little bit. Yeah, we'll just push this down so we can get it all on yeah. shot. You'll be able to place these megaliths from your board out onto this track here. So. Um, if you get this, you go be able to place one of these. Uh, you start with grey ones. These have to go in these grey spots in the middle. This this board sort of has a random arrangement each game. This right. is the sort of the default one for your first game. And uh, with, with with these grey ones, you get to put an additional second one down immediately. And basically, you'll be getting the bonuses that you cover up with these mega lifts. There is one more trick to them though: is when there's four in a square like this. If you're the person to put one on top, you can stack them up like this way and you'll score one point for every tile underneath your tile. And the person whose tiles got covered will also get one point for each tile that got covered. So right now you score six. I would score six points. It's like that, yep. Mm -hmm. so that's a basic overview of Endless Winter. Uh, we're obviously going to be trying to score as many victory points as possible. Let's get and to the game. Yeah, you're going to be combining all these things to get points. Okay, so the table is all set up here for me and the bot. 
We've had to do a couple extra steps during setup to set up the bot. So you can see over on the map here, the bot already has all of their um, tents out on the board. And these are decided by a certain card that the bot will draw um, off the top of a deck. And this tells us where on the grid to place their tents. That's good. All set up and ready yeah, to go. Yeah, all set up. And um, we've also had to create a sacrifice deck for the bot. So that's this going to be this deck over here. And um, this deck contains five culture cards from the level two culture deck and five from the level one culture deck. And the level ones are stacked on top of the level twos. And when the cards do certain interactions, the bot's going to draw from this deck. Uh, with that, we can probably get straight into it. So I'm going to... The bot always goes first in um, Endless Winter, so I'm going to jump to the bot's turn. So this is how the bot card looks. Now, on the bot card there's a bit of information. You'll be able to see where the bot's going to send their worker. So on this first card, they're going to go to this column on the furthest right, the animal column. And they're going to perform these actions in this column. There is like a priority system here for cards, which will come into play when the bot takes certain cards from the board. These cards, it will take the furthest right and the furthest right and the lowest as well, if that's an option. So if it's not just right, it'll go right and down. But let's get into this card. So this first action says that the bot will draw a card from the animal pile and um, to draw and put one out and then draw one into their hand. I'll just reveal the top card here. And the bot started with one Sabretooth Cat card. So they want to draw the matching cards that they already have. So they're going to take one of these Sabretooth Cats and put it into their collection over here. Of course. Because they get extra points for collecting four or more of the same set. Now, the next part of this bot card is they're going to draw a random animal from the top of the deck. And we can add that to their pile, thanks Stella. They've drawn a stag moose. Four now. Yeah. They already got four. They got one random one as part of setup. And um, I gave them a setup card, which let them get a saber tooth cat as part of their setup as well. Sure. So over to us. Uh, we do have to put one of the bot workers out on the animal space as well. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. And that stops us from getting the bonus for being the first player to go there. All okay. right, your turn. Yeah, my turn. First uh, turn ever. I'm going to do the develop action. So I'm going to use that with my chief. So I'm going to put that out on the board here. Now, my chief lets me get two food when I do the develop. That's action. right. So that's, that's my chief ability. So I'm going to move my food up by two. And now we'll go to the first space of this, which is spend free work workers to get a culture card. So, so technically you go from here, from here, from here. Correct. But we just leave and it we there. can do this top action as many times as we want. I'm going to try and do it twice, I think, and try and get two of these culture cards into my hand. And I should be able to do that. Good, good. Yeah, I'm going to use this tribes woman, and when I use her, I'm going to turn a food into a tool. I'm going to do that on my board. I'm going to use this brave, which gives us an extra hand. So that's one, two, three, four hands so far. And I'm also going to use two tribesmen. So that's going to be a total of six. And I am going to take the funeral prize card here this gives us a food lets us hunt one of our animals and lets us bury one of our workers and that goes into my hand and i'm also going to take this bone pigments card that lets us discard a card from hand or i might not take this because i don't actually have the cards in hand to make the most use of it so i'm actually going to take this one here which will get us let us draw an animal and give us a point for it at a cost of a food. So we put those in our hand. And then for part two of the action, we can spend food and tools in order to get one of these monolith tiles. So I'm going to spend one food and one tool. 
and pick up this tile here. This one will give us two points for every um, village we have on these landscape tiles here. So that would be a good way of us going some points Just for... This, this type of tiles. Yeah, those ones, yep. yep. I'm going to add that in there. And you paid the cost. I paid the cost Andre. already. Yep. yep. Excellent. And for being first here, I get a tool and a food. So I'll put those back up. Perfect. Okay, back to the AI's turn. All right, the bot's second turn. We look to this card here. We can see they're gonna go down the initiate track and they're gonna do the monolith action. So we'll put one of their workers on that track. Thank you. And for the first action, we're gonna be interacting with this monolith board here. So they're gonna take one of the gray monoliths from their board, which I can grab, and put it on, if we look to the, um, if we look to the side, on the side here, we can see they're gonna go to the left monolith track, and they're gonna go down if possible. So because they're going left, if we look at the monolith track here, they're gonna go on the left board, putting it on this gray spot. Now when you put your first monolith down, you get to put a second monolith down as well um, onto one of the adjacent two squares to the left of it. So you wanna pass me the second gray one. And because they're card to left and down, they're gonna take the two food on the bottom here. So we can move their track up to food, thanks Stella. Perfect. My pleasure. All right, now for their second action, they're going to do this burial. So, if we go over here, we can draw the top of top card of their sacrifice deck and place it under their burial. Oh, sorry. We'll see. That's okay. We place it at the bottom of their burial, and that's like them burying one of their workers. Yeah. It also gives them the points for that card at the end of the game. And back to the side here, we've got the monolith action again. So they're going to do the same action again. If you want to pass me one of these, one of these ones. So they're putting out their coloured pieces now, and that's going to go down here. That's so quick. Yeah. And they're going to grab a random animal from the top of the deck. So we can give them that. And they've got another stag moose. Wow. Okay. All right. That's the bot's second turn. Back over to my turn. Now I've got these three cards left in my hand. I'm going to get this funeral prize card play. So this is going to give me one food, which I'll track here. Let's me turn an animal, which I'm going to turn my stag moose. A little bit of a waste, but I'm going to be able to put one of my tents out into the center board and also gain four food. Which one did you put it? Uh, it's one of these ones in the center one, here. Of course. So we, 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 we started with one extra in the center from our start setup card. Okay. So we've got three in there now. And we're also going to gain four food, which we waste one of it, but we go all the way up to eight, which is really nice. A lot of food is good. And we put that over to their discard. So you can do these actions before you take one of your main actions, these culture cards. Now I'm going to go down to this explore track here, and we're going to place some tents and move some of our tents around the board. So I've got three so far. I'm thinking I'm going to put out, I don't really need to put any out, I'm going to try and move them around. Um, so, so I'm just going to play my Pathfinder here which gives me two hands. That's two, that makes three, and really I want four. So I'm going to go all the way to four. And that's going to let me be able to move four of my tents around. There's another yellow one there as well. There is another yellow one there, yeah. I think we need to take these monoliths. So I'm actually going to spend five in total. Moving my food down one more. Yeah, you still have enough food. I still have enough food to do the place of village action, which I'll do now. I'm going to place that in here. Take my tents back. That cost me the rest of my food. Already, already, already. here. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. 
Okay. And as part of this action, I get to place 110 and move 110, which I should have remembered earlier. It clearly could have worked me, helped me out. But I'm going to place one here and move it maybe to here and get some extra food for next round. All right. Perfect. Back to the bot. Now the bot is going to perform this action down here. We can put their worker out. Uh, that is on the explore action. That's the chief. And this top um, one says for every camp they have on a ice, like a frozen waste, they're going to get one point. So they've got two at the moment. They've got one here and one here. So we move them up two points. The next thing they're going to do is try to form a village, which they can do. So the bot can form villages out of rows of three um, of three um, tents. So if we look at the card here, we're going to pick the tent that is furthest right and at the bottom. So coming over here, we're going to look furthest right and at the bottom. So furthest right takes pre precedence, so they're going to put one right here. And these three tents are going to get moved. It feels like they're cheating, but that's that's the rules. That's the <laughs> rules, yeah. Oh, went to yeah, okay. Seems like a really tough bot. Um, could we need to just flip the top one of these cards, and this is going to tell us where we set up these three tents now, which is down this way, like this. Lay them flat so people can see them on camera. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Yeah, that's that's going to sneak me out of this spot, which no. is a bit annoying, but um, that's okay. Okay, next action they're going to do is to funeral a card. So we take one from the top of their deck and put it under, can you slide it under there for me? Or is it two? And they're also going to add a card to their eclipse pile. So we can see that from this action here. So what we do here is we grab the top card of their action deck and we put it on top of their board. And then when we go to the Eclipse reveal phase, so not, not just yet, yeah. um, we will reveal that and find out how many hands it adds to their Eclipse. Okay. Okay, so the only card I've got in my hand is this card that requires me to have one, need one food to play. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to save this for next round. Luckily, I do keep it between rounds. And I'm going to use my last worker just to go here, which is do the Eclipse action. So what this says is I can draw a card. I can... Um, eat an animal if I had one to eat, which I do not. And I also add one and a half hands to my uh, eclipse phase. So at least we're ready for the eclipse. Maybe we'll beat the bot. Hopefully. Uh, because that's my last action, I can lay down some cards ready for the eclipse, which I will do now. And we can jump straight on to the next phase. So we advance this to the eclipse phase along here. We reveal both of our cards. So I've got a total of one, two and a half. And if we go to the bot, yeah, we flip this one and they've got a total of one hand. Yay! So I have more. So you have one, how many you have? One I have half. two and, two a, and half. a half. Yeah. Well done. So, so we we'll only have one. Yep. Yeah. So that means I can choose um, to take the first spot, which I'll do. And the bot can go second. And I'll activate all my eclipse first. This so is, this is the first eclipse, and this is the first eclipse. One of four. This is how it works. Yeah. So uh, first we trigger this. So we look here, and we get the reward printed here, which is I get to do the monolith action. So I'll do that now. I take my monolith, and I look to this board up here for what I want. We're really low on food. We might need some more food for next round. So I'm thinking we go this way, one, two. And that's gonna give me two food for the next round. I mean, immediately, I should say. But it'll be there for the next round. Good, good. Uh, and we continue doing mine. So if we jump to the map. We're gonna go to all the spots on here that I've got influence on. 
So I don't get this one because the bot has three influence on this bot and I've only got two. I do get this one and I stop the bot from getting this one. So that's another megalith action, which is really good. So I'll do that now. I'll take another megalith tile and I will place it on here to grab I'm going to grab it, put it on this one to get two cards immediately. So I'm going to have lots of cards for next turn. So I'll draw two cards on my deck and add it to my hand. Uh, where else am I? This icicle doesn't do anything good for me. This one, because we're equal, I get the benefit of this. So that's two more food. That's good. So it puts us up to four food now. We should have enough to do some stuff next turn. Now, because I've done all the board, I look to my uh, my player board now. It didn't do any actions printed on here. So this one says draw a card. And this one says gain one tool. So plenty of tools, which is great. Uh, so that's all of my Eclipse action done. So now we can do it for the bot. The bot uh, mostly needs to worry about their board and this. Oh, they also need to trigger their card draw from the main board. So when the bot draws a card, they simply take, I believe, one of these cards and bury it on the bottom of their deck. Okay. Three now. Three, yeah. Yeah, that's on this reference card here. Now we'll go to this board. So they're going to gain their first, um, what's this one, idol? So they're going to go, uh, or they always go up on the idol track on the right-hand side first. So we'll put that up one. They don't get this. They do get this two food. So you, do you want to track two food on their board, please, Stella? Up to six. And they also get two more food. So they go all the way up to eight. Wow. Okay. Okay. When they start getting over their max food, then they start getting other benefits for getting food, which is probably bad for us. But so far, so okay. Still two more till max. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, for, now they're going to, now we're going to do their board. So they draw a card, which they get to put one from here down to here. Wow. And gain Lots a tool. Of points. Indeed. Now one thing I forgot to do on my board is just activate my um, my scoring token here. So uh, for every landscape, every yellow land, I've got a camp near, a village I should say, I get two points. So I will put that up now. So you do have this one here. Oops. Yeah, I do have that one there, so like that is touching that. I don't have to have the most influence there, I just need to have it touching. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Now we'll be going first on the next round. So we'll advance this on to stage two. We will refill these cards from this deck. Um, Culture number one. These are the one that makes um, your turns more efficient if you can play these beforehand. Before yeah. You place your worker. For sure. And we also refill all the animals in the animal. So when you do these, you refill to the number of players plus one. So for a bot game, it's free. Okay. So at the start of my turn, I need to draw five cards. So yeah. I've got one left in my deck. And I need to shuffle up these ones here. You'll see these deck, these building, deck building after all. Hopefully we can redraw some of those good cards we purchased. That's what we want. Well, that was one, two, three, four, five. Should you draw five? And you keep the, the cards And the cards that you already had. So I've got a mighty big hand now. So this turn I am going to... Jump onto this action here. I'm going to use one of my usual workers. And we're going to go buy some um, extra clansmen. So, looking at the shop here, we need to spend a tool and a hand in order to buy anyone. I've got loads of tribesmen here who are going to help me out with buying people. I'm going to use, going to use two and get two um, extra people into my hand. I think I shall take the crafter here and the pathfinder. So it's going to cost me two tools. So I'll track down here. And next we can do this yellow action. This says spend a food. 
which I've just done, to take one of the uh, tribesmen and add it to your discard pile and also bury someone. So I'm going to take a hunter, put it into my discard, and I'm going to bury one of these um, tribesmen here that I just used. The weak one. Yeah. Trash it. Let's get some trashing happening. And they also give us points at the end of the game. That's uh, true. Based on our idols. So uh, hopefully we can climb up on that track at some stage. Now we get to do the extra action here, which is an idol and another burial. So I'm going to bury that other tribesman card I used. And I'm also going to go up on the idol track. I'm going to go up the same column as the AI did. Try and get to the top before he does. Mm. Or she, I should say. <laughs> non, it might be me. Uh, nondescript AI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them. Them, them. Yes, they. <laughs> yes. Um, cool. Let's go to the AI's turn. Indeed. Yeah. And we reveal a card first. We do we? need to um, reveal a card. I do need to quickly shuffle all the AI cards back together. Uh, yeah. All right. AI card deck shuffled. I'm going to reveal this. So they are going down the explore track here. So we put one of their workers out there. And they're going to now score one point for every one of their camps on an ice hex. So if we come over here, we can see they've got one. The villages don't count. So it's just one point. And for the next action, they're going to form another village. So... If we look on the arrows here, they're going to go as far left as possible and down. So if we head back over to the board, they can't put it here, nope. but they can put it here. So they're going to put it there. And this gets revealed. And um, they get removed. moved and we reveal the next uh, card of that. Yep. Beast. And we put them down here. All right. They are surrounding us with villagers. Surrounding our village with their villagers. <laughs> Very intimidating. Oh. <laughs> Come on, build your civilization earlier and yeah. quickly. Okay, back over to my turn and I am going to go out here. And that's with my chief, so I get two food for using my Yay. chief out there. And first of all, we can buy some of these development cards. So let's see how many hands I can add up. So we've got two here, three, for five and a half, and this lady gets me a food change of food into a tool. That's right. And, and this one adds an extra adds. one because yeah, of this right. extra hand down here. I really want six. Uh, I can think you spend I more? can either spend a person or a food to get there. Yeah, you actually. Want to I did. I, I do need to play my culture card before I get stuck into this as well. So at the start of my turn, I should have come out and played one of my culture cards. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to spend a tool in order to do the mono, uh, megalith action. So I'm going to put this out and I'm going to put I, this down. I do like this culture card because this is the makes your yeah. turn so powerful when doing... Well, if you combo yeah. it right. Yeah. They, they're really good. I've got to make sure I use them at the start of my yeah. turn. <laughs> they're going to give us two food. Um, that's, so that's, good. that's great. That's maxes down food. So. Any culture, other culture, card, mm. culture card you want to play before your turn? I actually might, just because, you can just get because I want to spend food, but it's actually going to cost me two food to get to the next hand symbol. So maybe I won't get food. I will instead, I'll grab one of these people to my hand instead. So put my food back down and I'll grab a crafter, which then I can use immediately for this That's awesome. This round. So four. Back again for that. So that gives us our six that we require. And I'll take that back to my hand. Okay. I'm going to buy two culture cards. I am going to grab this fertility rights card here. Put that into my hand. And it's so good that you you get it into your hand. Yeah, you get it into your hand. Yeah, it's really you like do it straight away for next turn. I've got a couple too many built up in here, but I can play multiple on my turn. I just need to discard an extra card for every every one extra that I play. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
and we will take this burial mounds I think as well I'll try and work on those idols all right so that's the two cards I'm gaining next I'm going to gain one of these point scoring icons up here we are going to take this one that gives us points for uh, the villages that we have on the ice tiles on the board which we we can do later <laughs> we can hopefully do that's going to cost yet. me a tool and two food to put out here okay and because we're first one here we get a tool and a food back which is really nice oh yeah in here the first one yeah yep. excellent now back to the ai's turn Okay, and this card is telling him to go to this track here. Now, this track's already got a person on there, so they won't go there if there's another track that doesn't have anyone on there. So they're going to prioritize any track that's like not been the first person bonus, hasn't been obtained yet. Of course. So they're going to jump straight over to this track, and we'll activate this up column here. So the first action they'll do is they'll reveal a card and grab an animal card. Thank you, Stella. And they will try to get one they've already got. They don't have that. No. Nope. So next, they will probably grab the one with the most of the same color. So they're going to grab this woolly rhino here and add Makes it into sense. their display. Back to the bot card. They will do the clips twice. They're going to draw two cards on top of the deck and add it to their clips draw pile. Nice and simple. I'll add these over here. Thank you. Wow, that's more chance that they have more workers here. Yeah. Watch yeah. out. Okay, back to my turn. Now, I'm going to remember to use my culture cards. First of all, I'm going to use this tracking one to spend one food, gain one animal randomly from the top of the deck, and gain one victory point. So I'll grab one of these. We yeah. have got a, oh, I'm not sure how to say that, Glyp, Glyptoton. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty cute. Yeah, kind of cute. Like a fairy ball. I wonder if it's, is it based on like uh, actual animals back then? I'm or is sure. it like Stagmoose seems pretty legit. Yeah. I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. It's like a turtle mixed with yeah. something else. I'm sure it's, it's like legit, a, right? <laughs> sure, it's legit. <laughs> All right, and I have to give myself one point, so I'm going to put that up there. Tied. I mean, although I'm part of Guff Studios, I don't need <laughs> staying in developing or picking the animals. I'm going to play an, a second culture card. So play a second culture card. I need to, I can play it, but I need to discard a card as well. So I'm going to put one card in my okay. discard. Yeah. So that's, and if I wanted to play a third one, I'd need to discard two cards, I believe. Wow. Expensive, so, but it's yeah, because these cards are powerful. Yeah, so this gives me a tool. This lets me sacrifice an animal, which I'll do the one I just got, which is going to give me an idol and free food, which is pretty good. Uh, and I'm going to raise my idol track. You can choose one. between left and right, right? Yeah, I'll put it up here. And I get to bury a card. They should be down in my discard pile. And I'm going to choose a weak card. Get rid of my tribesmen. No one wants tribesmen. They're, <laughs> they're very generic. Yeah, don't, more they don't do anything special. Yeah. yeah. Now we need good cards. So that's my two culture cards done for my turn. And for my worker spot, I'm going to go to the explore spot and try and get some more tents out on the board. So I'm going to do these in, you can do these two actions in any order you want. I can spend tools to get tents down and I can spend hands to move the, move the tents. I am going to spend a bunch of actions putting out tents. So I'm going to use all my tools, put out three tents on the board. Wow. Put them all in the middle. And for my next action, I will start moving them around. So I've got some cards here. I've got two Pathfinder cards, which gives me four hands and a tribesman. So that's a total of five moves that I can do. 
I want to have at least three food left over to create a camp at the end of my turn. So That's let's right. try to create some. I've got five moves. So I'm going to go one, two, three, Yay. four, five. I think. That looks, it looks good. really good. I get that monolith and I can create a camp here, which gives Great. me a yellow and an ice, which is both scoring criteria for me. That's right. So that looks really good. Very so good. next I'm going to spend free food to put my camp out into that spot here. Also stops the AI from getting this food, which is good. Put those back on my board. And we don't get the bonus action because the AI has already gone to this location. Now we go to the AI's last turn. Ooh. I also Ooh, have... AI. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I also have zero... I'm actually on hashtag Henry team now. Yeah, please. Than... I need your support. I, I need your support. I'm supporting. I've been supporting you for the <laughs> <laughs> God bitten. <laughs> so sad. All, All right. right. So AI. All right. AI set. AI, yep. Ding, ding, ding. So they are going to do this track again. They are committed to creating camps on this board. All right. Let's put their worker out there. So all the worker spots have been taken, so they're going to go there. And they're going to score one point for every camp on an ice spot, which is one. This one? Yep. Yeah. They're going to create Hang a camp. On. Uh, two. Oh, they got two. They Sorry. got two. Thanks, no. Stella. Are you sure you're on my team? Oh, yeah, come on. No, okay. <laughs> Give me your honest. Give me your honest. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I need to be kept in check. Uh, we're going to create a camp. I mean, a village. So, we're going to grab village yeah. on their board. And they want to go as far right and as up as possible, which the only legal spot they can create is down here. That's yep. the right at the most spot. So I see that. That's and all then... of their camps out. And now they're going to flip that. Put in... Up there. Along the top here nicely done all right for the ai yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is that oh well you know they they're, they're, they're nice moving their they're moving their tents around pretty strategically somehow even though it's purely car driven uh yeah yes nice uh, well, i'd like to take credit on behalf yeah, of yeah. AI, <laughs> so thank you very much <laughs> well done, Stella. very very good cut. <laughs> thank you but I'm, I'm still hoping that you win. <laughs> Is it back back to your turn now? It's not yet. We've still not got yet. two more actions to do on oh, this, that's right. Let's um, do this card. So we've got one burial action. So they're going to take the top card of here and bury it. Bury, bury, bury. So this counts towards their like burial total as well at the end of the game. They're, right. they're just about guaranteed to get seven cards, which is the top scoring criteria. Ooh. So, um, yeah. Very powerful. AI. And they're actually going to make another camp. So this is interesting. So they do have this one extra tile. I'll show it over here. And this can be either this symbol or this symbol here. We're playing on normal mode, not on hard mode. So we're going to leave it as this tent symbol. And this is, if they build more than three camps, they put this out instead. And this counts as a tent in all three locations, essentially. So again, we're going as far right and as up as possible. On a tent. And we're going to put that here. And they will remove these. From, I think they always remove all the outside row ones. And then... Reveal more? Reveal more. Next one is the left. To the, the left, left, to the left. All right. And now whenever they do the camp action, instead of... Um, Instead of putting more of these tiles out, they're just going to move this tile around. Got it. Yep. Okay. That's the bot's turn done. Our turn's done. We go on to the Eclipse phase. All right. Let's we didn't reveal. play any Eclipse cards, so we will reveal the bots. Two. And by some miracle, they've beat us. Uh, <laughs> beat our zero, so they are going to... They are two, and you have... We have... Zero, because you didn't Z actually rest. No, I didn't. Didn't, didn't do put that. actually put any cards out mm -hmm. there. Okay. So we jump to on game. They're going to go to the top of the scoring track, and we're going to reveal all of their eclipse phase uh, actions now. So first of all, they're going to get the nice monolith action here. So we reference the top AI card to find out where they put it. 
So in this case, it's going to be as far right and up as they can. So in that case, we're going to go to this spot right in the top right here, which is going to give them a person. They can take any of these and they just put it at the bottom of their deck, I believe. Let me just check their reference card here. It's got a symbol. Actually, when they gain people, they actually just gain one tool. Yep. So Let's put it back they're not there. they're not able to gain. They can't. Um, be, they, they can't, can't actually gain these. Tools. So they, oh, they can't gain any more tools. So when they can't gain any more tools, they do something else. They so we go down on this list. So right. we go across and then we go down. Yes. Okay. So that's a good reference card there. Yeah. So that's what it is. Food wipe up one food. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> the bot um, also. If the bot, if there's ever a spot for the bot to put their monolith on top of the other ones, they'll do that as their priority. So they'll always go for the points if they can. Of course. But there's no valid spots there just yet. You need four You faces. need like a surrounding yeah. a four like this. So Yeah, cool. Now we go to the map board. Now we're going to score all... God, the AI's got a lot of camps, hey? Uh, yeah. So... Two tools here, which is going to be two food. So you want to move one food up, and when they can't go up on food, they go up on idle track. Whoa. So they're going to go up the idle track one. Back over to here, they're going to get one point from this spot. They get nothing here. They don't score this one because I'm blocking them. This one's nothing. This one is touching these two, so they're going to get one point here. And do the monolith action again. Wow. So top, top right, which is this one up here. And they're going to put a person into their discard, which is going to give them a tool instead, which is going to give them a food instead, which is going to, so you're going to give them an idol. <laughs> so we're going to put All their right. idol trap one. Yeah. All right. We've got a couple more spots. We've got two points. They've got monolith action again. Wow. There you go. Thank you. Now there's still there's still no four bases. Rightmost, upmost. I think they're going to get the two tools here. They can't get the tools. They can't they get can... the tools. So they're up to on the idle track. And it goes to food, and then so goes food quick. goes to. Indeed, yep, they are indeed. flying up, and when they reach this. yeah, when they reach this spot, they get two points immediately. Deary me! All right. Come on here. And they've got one more idle to get. They're going to draw three cards. So when they draw cards, they take them from here and put them into their burial. Burial. Do you want to know how many in here? Um, probably Do more like than I would like. So that's <laughs> that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Eight and growing. Sorry. Uh, we've also got to give them basically two idols for these two spots. Doom, doom, and that's another three points because they reached this spot. Okay. Okay. That is the AI's eclipse phase. I hope ours can somewhat match. Yeah. Uh, for our one, we're second on here, so we draw a card. Add that to our hand for next turn. That's our hand. Next, we go to this board here. We're going to go from the left here, so we've got Two food and an idol. Two food up. One idol up. I may not be in reach of beat, beating the AI now. So I'm actually yeah. going to go up this track instead. Cause, yeah. Um, yeah. Might as well. May as well. Give up on your dream. Yeah, on giving up on the dream. Now this one here gives us a megalith. So we'll get that out. And what do we need? I really like drawing extra cards. I'm going to draw these two cards up over here. Draw two cards into my hand. Okay. We've got another megalith to do, so let's get that done. And maybe getting one of these animals into my hand might be good at this stage. Or burying. I really like burying. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to bury. It's an idol and a burial. So I'm going to bury my tribesman and grab myself one idol up on the track. Okay, we've got another idol. 
Maybe I could have chased him down. Too late now. Too late. All right, that's that. That one done. Now we come to my board. We've got two card draws here, which I've got to shuffle this up. And we draw. And you've got your bonuses as well for the... For the board. So it's going to yeah. be four points for each of these. Stuff. So a total yeah. of eight. She's going to catch me up a fair way. That's One, good. two. That's good to hear. Eight points for these. That takes me up to 11. And that's nice. And that's because I've got a camp on touching both ice and the... What would you call this? Um, plains. Like a plains, plains, cliffs, plains, grassland. But yellow grassland. <laughs> <laughs> summery grassland. Yeah, like this is like yeah. green. Definitely the warmest spots. Yeah, right. this is like, this is summer, this is spring, like in yeah. Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they've got touching here and touching here. So that's nice. Great. Nice, nice. And we've also got to gain one tool and one idol at the bottom of my board. So one tool That's here. Cool. And I like the fact that it's revealing things and you get the bonus. Like you as you build your engine, mm. this is as as you get gain something, you get something else. Yeah, it's really good. I mean it's I'm I'm not this is not a review. Yes. <laughs> Again, I'm Guff Studio, but I did yeah. not develop it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have some bias to, that's not said, but it is. Yeah. It is. It is. It is, it is really nice. I think um, what I'm trying to say is, I cannot, I cannot take credit and also cannot take the blame. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to do something, something a little bit unusual. So instead of taking the idol, I can always Ooh. take a resource that's less of a lesser quality than the idol. It's on the main board. Isn't it's on it? the main this board one. here. So you just go down the list. So instead of taking the idol, I'm going to gain a tool. So I've got a couple of tools ready for next action. Ooh. All right, and with that, that's the eclipse phase over for round two. So as we go into round three, we need to replace all of these culture cards with the level two culture cards. That's right, so in this one, it's this one. Yep, and you put out eight, eight of those, please, Stella. Sure. I'm gonna replace the animals on the animal track. Get some fresh ones. All right. Ooh, they're more powerful. Eh? Got number two on the top left. Yeah, and some of them are worth the two points as well, so they can be worth nice. a few more points. And now we can't access these anymore, but we can get access to these ones on the right. Let's flip them back. Uh, flip, yeah, them flip them face down. Face down, that's it. Cool. So all we right. run three. Yeah, and take all our workers back. And we start with the AI on round three, so I just need to shuffle up their deck. Okay, let's start the bot's turn. So this round, they are going to this column develop, I believe, and they are going to take a sacred stone. So they're gonna take the one on the furthest left. So we go to the main board, they're gonna take this one here and add it into their um, collection. They do actually have to pay for that, so they need to spend one tool and one food. But they've got plenty. Cheap. <laughs> Cheap. And then bury, but then... Oh, yeah. Oh, they can bury. bury. I've forgotten to do those actions on mine. Oh, no. Oopsie doopsie. That's all right. So I'll bury, I'll go yeah. ahead and bury this, and then you resolve yours now. Yeah, so there's one bury I didn't get to do, which uh, might be a little late to do it now. I will actually just do it now. So yeah, I'm let's just going to bury that right. there and draw a card to replace it. And then what's and the second one? The second one is to gain a person from the, here. So this is let's just too bad. I was, so, oh yeah, I just shuffled it in my deck. I just, yeah. I just shuffled it. So yeah. let's get in there. Uh, let's get a... These cards are the same. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, yeah they're, big, they're like big decks of the same cards. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Ah, because of the bot action now you remember that's okay. It's easy to um, it's easier to forget sometimes. Mm, yeah, there's a fair bit to remember going on, especially if you're running the bot as well. So that's right, you're running yeah. the bot, not me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the bot. All right. Um, have we resolved all of this bot's action? Not quite yet. 
So we've got one culture card for the bot to gain. So when they take the culture card, they're going to go left and down. So they're going to take the bottom left culture card. And when they add it, they're going to add it to the top of their sacrifice deck. So we go over here and we just place it on top of that pile here. Yep. Okay, over to my turn. I've just drawn five cards to start of my turn. And you have lots of cards. I have so many cards. Because you got engine that lets you draw cards, yeah, which is good in here. These, in these here. two actions, I drew one from the turn and then two from the mono megalith decks. So that plenty of cards, good. plenty of cards. Let's get started with culture cards. So this one, I have to discard another card. I'm going to discard this one. And then I get to put up my idol twice. And we'll go over to the idol track. This one lets me bury a card. Which that's okay. I'm just going to bury that funeral prize. It's I number just one discarded. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, I still get points for any cards on the that have points on them as well if I bury them. Awesome. Uh, and we're going to move the idol up twice. I did it once, didn't I? I think we're going to go up one yeah, more time. Yeah, one more. Can of food. And that's going to make me bury another card. Which having no cards in my discard, so I was going to bury the card, this card that I just played as well. You probably won't draw it again for the end of the game, so that should be fine. I think that takes me up to seven of these, which is good. Which is really great. So um, that's what how many I need to bury to get the best score on the burial. Um, I still need to beat the AI in the track, yes. but yeah. <laughs> uh, odds are that's not going to happen now. Problem, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's still good. All right, and I am going to play out on this explore track over here. So first thing I can do is lay down some tents, which I'll do to begin with. We will add at least one tent to the board initially. You always add in the middle. Always to add to the with. middle, yeah. And we'll play play this brave card to get two moves. I think that's actually probably need to play one more tent. So put out one more tent in here. We'll play this Pathfinder nice. as well. I might keep this brave in my hand. And we'll use this this Pathfinder and Tribeswoman as my two cards. Tribeswoman lets me transform a food into a tool. I've put two tents out and I've got a total of one, two, three moves. Over here I'm going to go one, two, and three. Nice. So you got oh, those three. I've got those three together. So as a part two of the action, I'm going to spend free food to, I'll just move that here to turn my tents into a village. Ooh. That's back there and then replace it with your village. Mm -hmm. Out on there. Three villages, that's all your village. That's all my villages that's out, awesome. so that's great. Uh, and as a bonus for going to this place spot, first I get to take one of these and move it out onto the board. All oh, right, put it there. I get to move it as well. We've got camps all around here. And to move, yeah. Place and move. Place and move. Not too many useful spots. I think I'll maybe put it here just to make sure You've AI got, doesn't uh, doesn't take yeah. it. Or maybe I can move up towards here. I'll go, I'll go up this, this way. This gives you two points, right? This gives me an... Uh, it's, it's, only, it's only for these that I get points. Ah, right, right. Yeah. Okay, that's true. Yeah. No, that looks good. Okay. Awesome. Happy. Happy? Good. All right. Moving on to the AI second turn. They're going to try and do this action again, which they can't. Ooh. So we, instead we look to the right. Can't do this action because I'm there. <laughs> so we look to the right again, and they will take the hunt action. There you go. The AI one out there. So with the AI people too, it doesn't matter if you use the standard ones or the chief. They all they all work the same. Okay. Uh, so when they hunt, we look at their car. They're going to draw one animal from the top of the deck. 
In this case, they have drawn a saber tooth cat, which adds to their Whoa, set of four. Three. They are yes. going to also take two culture cards from the t right, furthest right and uh, up. So we're going to take this one and this one. These are the two rightmost cards. Got it. And they get added to the top of the deck up here. Sacrifice deck. Okay, I'm going to start by playing culture cards. So first one I'm going to play is this tracking card. I'm going to spend my last food to grab a wild animal and gain one point. Grab one to the top. We've got a woolly mammoth, which is a pretty good find. And we'll also gain one point on the track. Alright. Now I'm going to play a second culture card. I'm going to play this fertility rights card by, and this will gain me a tool. I also have to discard a card when I play it, so I'm going to discard this one. And it's going to gain me a tool. I get to sacrifice an animal. My my, my animals don't stay long, alive long. I know. Clan, it's like I you just, just gain them. I just eat them up straight away. You're so very that's hang, gonna, hungry. The woolly mammoth lets me uh, mm -hmm. refill my food up to the max. So Whoa. that's really good. And I can bury a card, but I'm actually not going to do it because yep. I'm quite happy with my deck. i got no weak cards here. So just going to ignore that part of the card. All right. And now I'm going to play out onto the board. We can go down this column here. I'm going to share it with the bot. Uh, I'm not interested in this action right now. There's a lot of burials, which I don't really need to do. So let's get some culture cards. Now I've got a load of these uh, cards needed for this particular track in my hand. It's part of the reason why I'm going here. So I've got That's two right. crafters, which are going to give me one, two, three, four. And the brave's going to give me five and six. Okay, that's the six I need to grab two culture cards into my hand. Having a look here, most of these require me to discard a card, which I can't really do because I don't have any. So I think I like the looks of this one. This is going to get me a card into my hand, which is yeah. good. And we will also take another one, one for the future. We'll take... Ooh, I like idols, but maybe we'll get some more animals. I think we need as many animals as we can towards the end turn, so we'll sure. take that one too. All right. And because you're not the first one there again, you don't get this bonus. Correct, but I do have a chance to buy one of the sacred stones, which I'll do now. That's right, yeah. So I've got enough Still food have to and that. a tool. And I'll grab a sacred stone. We'll grab this one. It gives me points based on how many are buried I'll show it on this side cam here. That's so this cool. one, uh, if I have buried seven people, which I have, it gives me ten points. So that's going to be really beneficial. Nice. And when I place it down on here, I get, get to, I get to draw a person into my hand, Yay. which is good. Let's grab a hunter. So I think I'm going to go hunting soon. Try mm. and get some, get some alive animals to keep for oh, scoring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, perfect. That's my turn. Okay, onto the bot's final turn. They are going to go try to do this column, but we've left this column empty, so they have to do this column because it's the only one without a worker in it. So you can man manipulate the bot a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's true, in the in the way. Yeah, so if you think like the bottom two actions on the bot cards are particularly weak in this column, um, then you can sort of force them to go there if you, if, if, if you don't go there on your turn. You stack it like that because that affects the next turn. Mm, yeah. Uh, the bot card. So the first thing I'm going to do is bury one of their um, sacrifice cards. Uh, I might let you do that, Stella. Yeah, I'm the barrier. You're the burial. <laughs> uh, they're going to move their village. So we're going to take this guy and they want to go as far right and down as possible, which is going to be here. And they're going to move these three around. And the way the next one is over there. Over there. That's pretty good for us. All right, they're going to draw two Eclipse cards. We should have shuffled these back in last oh, yeah. turn, but that's, uh, we'll make sure we do that next turn. And draw two fresh ones for here. That's right. It's quite a big bot AI deck, so it doesn't really matter if you don't miss a shuffle, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's quite big. And they're going to do their Megalith action. So we'll grab one of their Megaliths, and they're going to go as far right and down as possible which is going to land them on here. 
which I believe, if I check their reference, is going to give them a tool, which they do want. So up their tool by one. Tool, not, yeah. not too, not too bad for us. That's pretty good. Yeah. And we still have one turn left. Now, I was a bit silly last turn. I didn't use my chief in the, in the track. That, that's uh, fine. Yeah. That's actually fine because I got max food. Okay, back to my turn. I've got two culture cards in hand and two hunters. I'm thinking I want to play both of these culture cards. So let's do this one first. So I can spend the food to gain a person from the top of the deck into my hand. So I'm going to take this lady here. So I want to get these two tools in the eclipse phase. Nice. And I can eat an animal if I had one. But, you but I do not. Okay. I want to start actually collecting animals for the intended purpose, which is to score points as well. <laughs> uh, you just got a card. Just got well. a card and an and additional got, one yeah. to draw a animal card and gain one into my collection. Oh, maybe you should have played that one. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. First. That's okay. We're going to grab. Oh yeah, you want to collect them, not. I want to collect. Yeah, yeah I really want to collect. Enough. We'll grab one of these guys. Oh, yeah, you've got actually, oh, no, you've which ones haven't come out much. We had a few woolly rhinos. Stag. Uh, maybe we we'll take the stag moose just in case okay. the AI gets it. I don't want them getting any more. That's true. He's got two already. I'm taking it into hand. We gain one point. I'll come up on here. Yep. Oh, you um, you next to the bot there. I'm back next to the bot. The side um, I'm going to do the Eclipse uh, oh. action, so I'm going to draw a card from my deck. I can optionally eat an animal, but I'm actually going to keep this one alive. What cards are you going to put in the Eclipse? Do you want and to put I any cards? I want to add this card into the Eclipse, which is the one I just drew. So okay. I wanted those tools. So Technically, you face it down for, multi face it down. Oh, for multiplayers, yeah. for it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the bot's not yep. going to uh, use that information against <laughs> me, I don't think. <laughs> no. Um, all right, so fingers crossed I can beat the box. I'm really relying on that. So you've got how many got right there? One, I've got two and a half, and the bot's got two yes, cards, which we don't know what yeah, they are. Yeah, and this is Eclipse. This is Eclipse. Eclipse. Right, let's have a look. Dun, 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 dun. One, one and, and a half. half. Beautiful. So yeah. that's going to put me ahead of the box. So I will Yay. take knock him off here. Yep. And we can get cracking on this eclipse. Now, start off with me doing a megalith action. So I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to gobble up all these points up here. Yeah, that's going on how, top many, of the, how many points? Four. So it's four for the tiles underneath and there's two of mine. So six for me and one for the bot. Woohoo! That's going to put me up to 19 <gasps> and the bot goes up to 15. Good. So good, finally good, got good, our noses good, in front. Good, yay. Uh, over to the main board now. Uh, we are going to the main board. Yeah, the main board. This is the. It's, oh, it's yeah. not. Yeah. It's not really the main board. It's the <laughs> sort of exploration board. Uh, and this idol here. I'm gonna get up on the idol track. I think I feel like I gave up on that sacrificial track too early, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, put that one at one. This one gives me two food. This one is going to give me two points, two food. And a megalith, so I'll get track the two points. Oh, yep. Do the two food. And the megalith, I've got to find a spot for that one. We're going to we'll get the culture card straight away. What point is she uh, on? Oh, you can you can get the... I'll get some extra tools. The idol. Oh, yeah, all tools. Oh, I'm gonna, I might grab... I should have grabbed a different animal. Oh well, I'm gonna grab. Yeah. I'm gonna grab an animal. So I'm gonna go up over here and grab myself. Okay. Reveal one and draw one. What'd you oh, get? What'd another you get? woolly rhino. Oh. Okay. We should have taken woolly rhinos before. But you don't know that. We don't know that. We'll, we'll grab this one. Maybe I can grab another one before okay. the turn is done. Okay. Uh, back over here, we've still got one idol and one megalith to resolve. So put the idol up. I can add a card to my discard. Uh, put a shaman in there. I doubt it's going to get drawn this game, <laughs> but it might do. And we get a marble megalith, which is great. That's, that means I can technically take that animal unless I want the points. Mm -hmm. 
Let's take the, take the animal, animal of the reveal. One. Come on. I'm going to oh. sloth. All Get right. The... A giant sloth. No. Ground sloth. Yeah. To take the animal. Yeah, you got us at least a collection of two. At least a pair. <laughs> Maybe it will end up being more points in the future. <laughs> I gave up this nice megalith spot though. That would have been six points. That's so. true. That's true. Anyway, that's fine. Yeah. We let the AI we go. still have one. Actually, more no. Time. Sorry, I've still got my board to resolve. That's right. There should be a lot of points here. So we're going to draw three cards from this one. That's one, two. I've got to shuffle all these guys and that one. Together. And then you oh, have. These are mine as well. That's right, yeah. And you have a. Well, you shovel, you have a tool. You have a tool and an you idol. An idol. You're going to put me up on the idol, the same track that I've been going up. Yep. Oh, nice. So, two to one resource points there. Hmm. Which is good. Yeah, that's good. I think. I think we want to try and get to that very top spot if we can. And yeah. clear out our tents and. Max out our food, but it might, might be difficult. We'll see. Yeah. Might involve eating my poor woody rhinos. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, I've drawn... How many cards did I draw? Two of them, I think. So, one more. Yeah. And I've got to score all these. So this is going to be... Four for each of these. So four, eight, and then ten. So, eighteen in total. Whoa! So we go from 21 up to 39, right around there. That is good that you have it. That last one that was... That last one's a lot of points, That yeah. last one, how many points? 10, 10, because Whoa. I've got 7 cards in my burial here. One, two, that three, is good. Four, We're racking up seven. the points, Hen. Good thing I counted that right. Very good. Hopefully it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. But my track I mean, record does not lean on it being enough. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's just like your soap. I don't know. I just yeah. call it soap because it looks like soap. Because I'm making soap. <laughs> my soap. My soap bar. So your far ahead. Bar. Yeah. All right. Uh, AI's what? got their eclipse to do. What's so they start by drawing a card, which they just put, take one from their sacrifice deck and put it under their um, deck there. Yeah. Next we go to the explore board here. We don't know one point. This one no, because my village overpowers it. This one no. Just lay these down. This one we add uh, this one here, they're gonna get two points. This one they are going to get a megalith. Ooh. They're gonna pass me that. There you go. And they're going to put this on top of here. Of course. How many points is that? Uh, that is five for them and two for me. Oh, yeah, you get some. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And they got an idol. They got idol. This mm. one? Uh, oh, sorry, what are you that doing? This yet? one? Yeah, sorry, I was doing this one. Like, okay, yeah. Uh, we've got two more spots here. We've got two tools. Which they can't get tools, they get food. So they get one food and they get one idol. Which will take them to the top of this track, giving them five extra points. Oof. And now we go to their board. So they're going to draw three cards. It's going to take one, two from here. And then and the third one, one is. Two, yes, they go to the idol. So they start going up the other track now. They will score this. They, they always just get two points per one of these they have. That's, they don't bother actually, actually scoring it for what it's worth. And they will get a tool and an idol. A tool. So, so two, 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 two idols. Two idols. Yeah. Now get we've just got to get ready for the next round. So we clear or actually, we don't clear these away. We refill these up to eight. I'm just taking all the workers back. We clear out the animals out of here and hope for the best. green ones. And a stag, a sloth, and one a cat. One going That's one. not what we're after. I mean, the stag, kind of. I got, I got one. Yeah. Um, we move this along to round four. Last round. I think we're good. We've just got to shuffle up the AI deck. And then... And I've got to draw five cards. Yes. Those yep, I'll do that. Please. 
And whose turn is this? First? And it's going to start with my turn. Last round. Last round, three more actions. I mean, three more worker placement action. Yeah, big decisions to make. I think I'm going to start with playing this card here. It has I have to discard a card. And this card says, reveal an animal and draw an animal into my hand. I've got another saber tooth cat. Mm. Okay, how many saber tooth cats did the bot have here? Three. Three. Maybe Three. we should, should we work get... on hiding them from the bot so they don't get oh. ten points. Or, or you want to I... get the point there for the stack moves? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get enough cats before the bot goes. Anyway. You think? Oh, uh, I'm. I'll grab. I'm gonna grab a cat. I'll grab a cat because I got yeah. some good sacrifice. Cat Okay. Sacrifice cards in hand. Okay. And this is going to give me one point as well. Leave that along there. Now I've got this cat. I'm actually going to spend another one of these cards. Spend a food. Going to draw a tribesman from here. I've got this crafter here. And this is going to let me sacrifice an animal. It's going to be this cat. Easy come, easy go. Uh, we're going to have to discard another card too to, in order to do this. Discard this card. And that's going to give me two tools, which I desperately need, and two good, food. Good. Now I've got tools. I'm going to mix up my turn a little bit. Instead of, instead of grabbing this lady, I'm going to grab this hunter. And I am going to go on the hunt over here. Ooh. Oh, you, you've got lots of hunter... Cards, I remember. I've got a couple, I don't know if you have it. A few okay. hunters. I've got two here, so that's four hands. I may need more, but let's start with that. I'm going to use one of these hands. So that's four hands, right? Mm hmm. I can always add more if I need them. That's true. So one of these hands, I'm going to reveal two of these animal cards a stag moose, Ooh. which is great, and a woolly mammoth, which isn't bad. We want to get loads of these now you got if we can. There are two stack moves. Oh, you mm, can get it, yeah. I can Ooh. get them. And I can grab that saber tooth cat as well. Stop the AI from getting them. We're going to use one, two, three tools. So that's my four hands and three tools. To, cause to grab an animal, I need to spend a hand and a tool. So and I've used one hand so far to reveal two animals. I had four in total. So I'm using three tools to grab three animals. Nice. I've got the two stagmoses wow. and the cat. Nice. That's Cats awesome. On the sacrifice plate. And Cats. I'm going to spend one more tool and a hand to grab this woolly mammoth as well. Why not? Why not? It's two. Oh, he's, he's, two he's two points. He might be able to max out my food. If I want to convert food to resources at the end as well. Right. That seems really good. All right. We can optionally tap an animal, which I'll do. I'll tap my cat to get two tools and two food back. So that should stop the AI getting those. And we get to draw a lucky dip animal for being first. And we've got this pink guy here. The one that we're not sure if that's actually fictional. Yeah, or the one that could or may or may not be made up <laughs> entirely. <laughs> uh, AI's turn. They're going to go down this first column. Place one of their workers there. And they're going to do a megalith action. They're going to pass me one of their yep, megaliths. There you go. And they want to put it as right and up as possible. Which I it's either here um, or here. I think this is as right as it can go, so I think it's going to go here. I think right takes priority to up. Okay. So they're going to get two food. They can't Which get they those. Cannot. They're going to get two idols. Two idols is. Up here twice, and they um, get to bury a card. There, but there is no There's card. There's no card, bury. so they're going to get another idol. Okay. Wow, they're yeah, really flying okay. up this track. Yeah. They're going to convert. All their resources to oh, points. So that's a lot of points. That's 15. 15 points. Wow, We're going okay. to do really well to beat this AI. Okay, okay yes. Okay. Uh, that was their first one of their actions. And they're going to try and bury again, which they can't do. So they will take a um, person who will give them a tool, which will then give them an idol. So they're going to sneak all the way up to yep. there. Yep. Wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. 
we are going to play our fertility rights card to just about just get this tool. That's what I really want. What's going on there? I, <laughs> I don't want to sacrifice any animals. We've got max food. Oh, okay. Okay. You don't want to sacrifice. I don't want to bury That's anyone. True. So get that done. And I am going to place my clansman over here. The first one. The first one. Yep. Now. We are going to convert culture into cards. We're going to play our two crafters out. So you're going to play one. Do I want to play these? Maybe I don't. I can just use food. So I've got a plan to yeah. refill my food later. So I'm going to spend all this food down to here for free hands. And I'm going to take this card from the board into my hand. Now, because we're the first ones here, we also get a tool and a food. food. Mm -hmm. I will actually. Will I? No, that's fine. Yep. That's it? That's it. Okay. Simple. Nice and simple. Nice and simple turn. Go to the bot. Back yeah. to the bot. Yep. They are. Uh, going to take the only truck that hasn't been claimed, which is the camp truck. So let's put the guy here. Now, first thing I want to do is score points for any um, any ice where they've got a camp. So it's going to be one, including this. One, two, two of those, the two points. Now you want to put an Eclipse card out, which we can do. Yep. They want to convert their tents into the camp, looking as left and down as possible. So it's going to be right here. And we'll remove these three. And you want to draw a new card for me, Stella? There's no card, so I have to reshuffle. Yeah, just reshuffle. Sure? Yeah. Okay. And we'll see what, where these tents will be. Here. Yeah. The bottom. The bottom one. one. Okay, and they want to bury a card, which they can't. Cannot. No so cards. they're going to gain an idol, which is then right. going to let them draw a person, which is then going to let them get a tool, which is then going to give them an idol. So yeah. we're going to yeah. go to the top. I'm going to play my model and pestle, spend the food, and get a card and two tools. Kind of didn't need that many tools in the end. I really wanted to get as many tools as I could for this last yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I overdid it a little bit. Uh, this is your last time ever. And I'm going to put my chief out to the hunt track. And I'm going to try and get as many animals, animals as I can. So Go hunting. We're going to play at least one, two, three. Go all out. We'll start with three. Yeah. Okay. We can always add, yeah. And we're going to draw two with one of them. Stagmoose is great. Sloth isn't That's bad. That's good, Stagmoose. All right. So we've got three. So we're going to use two. One, two. I'm going to use one to take the Stagmoose. Nice. So we've got two hands left. I could grab both of those sloths, or could I could reveal some more and see if we get what we want. I'm going to reveal some more. So I'm going to use another hand to reveal two more cards. Oh. Okay, and I want to try and get all those sloths, I guess. So yeah. I've got one more hand left, and I've got two in hand. So that's going to be a total of three hands. I'm going to take all three so sloths. Yay! Oh, i got... One more as well that I can use. I can take that cat as well. So I can Why not? Get spend like this. You can get it for food later, maybe. Yeah. Oh, the cat as well, yeah. Cat as well. So we've got a Lots of animals all of a sudden. That's, that's yeah. just become quick. That's your last turn ever. That's my last turn ever. Um, I get to eat an animal as well. So this is a you bit do? of a choice. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now, I do get points for resources, so there is a bit, quite a big benefit to be gained here. And this That's correct. Eating one of these sloths would give me five, like five two, resources two to total. The woolly mammoth would also give me 
max out my food, which would be really nice. You can't really max out your tools, though. That's okay. We're going to go with the woolly mammoth and okay. max out the food. Fine mammoth. Because we don't have any matching of them. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were planning to put your tents out, but that's okay. That's out of turn. Good. Out of turn. Out of action. That's everything for me. And just the AI's got one last turn. And then one more clips phase. One. And we're done. That's it. Okay. So, last turn for the AI. All the tracks have been used, so they will go down the hunt track. And they're going to reveal and draw a card. There's only one card to draw, so reveal the sloth and draw the sloth. I really like that. <laughs> get a random card on top of the deck. We get an Albert. What's that one? Oh, this one. Argon Tavis. That's the. Yeah. That's the. Uh, what's the word? Pride. Yeah. <laughs> pride bird. The pride good. bird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a wild card bird. Yeah. Wild bird. Wild bird, that's what I was meant to say. Uh, <laughs> got a culture card. They want the left downest one to this one. So they're going to actually have a sacrifice deck again. Uh, add that to their sacrifice deck. And they're going to draw two eclipse cards, which definitely means they're going to beat us on that. And uh, um, that's it for actions. Let's yep. get stuck into the eclipse phase. Nah, last one. So we know the bot wins the eclipse. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to put them. Um, two and a half. Yep, and I've got zero. So not much of a contest. Yeah, sorry. Now you're going to place a megalith out. Can you pass me one of them? The last they have one. A spot on top that they can claim. I'm going to go here. Gives them seven points and we won. Yeah. That's very nice for them. 32, 39, and one for me. Okay. Now we advance to this board here. I'm gonna go through and score all their points. Let's count up all their point scoring areas first. We've got one here, two, two points. Count up all their idols. They've got one idol, just the one idol, which they can't, so, yeah, they can't get. So they, I think they stop now because that's the bottom of their track. So they won't actually get anything for that idol, which is good for us. Oh, yeah, <laughs> one point. Yeah. Back to the. Back to the board. They're gonna get two tools here, which is gonna convert to food, which is gonna convert to idol. So that's. There's nothing. There's nothing. They're maxed out. Uh, I've got two more points here, so we'll give them those. I missed that one. I think I might have missed that uh, yeah, yeah. me a bit too. That's okay. Food. This is going to be... Oh, no, they don't get this one anyway. This one they don't get. So it's just this megalift left. And they have got no more megalift tokens to put out. So if we go mm -hmm. down the track, they're going to do the burial of this card. Yeah. They're really capped out what they can yeah. do in this game, hey? Yeah, they've um, absolutely done really well there. All right, that's that board. Let's go to their player board. They want to bury three cards. They don't have any to bury. No. Nope. And they're maxed out on all the tracks. So that's it. They don't get that's anything it. else. They're going to get two points for this. And these will not trigger either. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's gone away. Yeah. They've maxed out. They're doing so They're well already. Maxed out. Yeah. Okay. And to our one. So I can always choose not. I'm not going to draw a card because there's no point in the stage. So I'm going to take the idol probably instead. How many idols am I going to get from yeah. the board? Two. How many do I need? Two. Two. So I'm going to, I'm going to get there. a tool instead. So the tool okay. is going to give me one point That's later right. on. And. Now we go to the board here. Let's do our two idols up here. It gets me draw a card. They're all worth one point, so I'm just gonna grab one of those cards to get a point. Yes. We're gonna count the point scoring areas. We've got one here, so two. That's it for me, so two points. Yeah. We've got two food, which I actually can't make use of because I'm maxed on food. I got four food on the board, so maybe killing that mammoth was a bit silly. Uh, that's okay. We're going to get two megaliths 
and that's that's it. So two mega lifts, which is really good for us. That's good. You can. can you I've, only, I've only, I've only, I've only, I've only got one, so yeah. I can convert the other one down. Let's get the score four. I can get a lucky. Score. I can get a lucky animal potentially. Four. How or, about this one? Oh yeah, I could score four, five, five points. That's probably and, best. Yeah, and then they, the bot get one. Mm-hmm. And the second megalith I'm going to change into a tool. Yes, why not? Why not? Uh, yes, and now we go to our board. I'm not going to worry about drawing free cards. I'm not going to take a play. We're going to get our... Can you get tools instead? Can you convert that to... Oh, I can I can convert it, you're right. So I'm going to get three more tools. Woohoo! Wow, I did, I'm worrying too much about the <laughs> resources. Uh, we got 18 points here, so Whoa. that's great. It's going to give us a healthy lead here. 58. That is good. That that last that last one that you got and is really good. That's 10 points. We'll take the two idols. And the tool we can't use for food or tools. So maybe instead of taking one of those tools, I'm going to yeah. do the card. I'm going to take an yeah. idol instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And it gives me two more points. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. That makes sense. Now we do the final scoring. <gasps> so we've got to count up our animal scores. We've got to count up our cards and see how many points are actually on the cards themselves. So I want to go through and do my ones. Yep. Stella, do you want to count up the bots? Yes. And let's see how we went. Let's do that. So let's start with animals. With, animals? Yep. So let's okay, so we can start first. Eaten animals don't count. So I'm going to remove all these from over here. And we've got one, two, this is a set of two, so that's worth three. <coughs> Five, this is a set of four, so that's ten. Nice. So that's fifteen. And this is a set of three, so that's six, so that's twenty-one. Very good. Uh, so twenty-one for you? Twenty-one for me. One, and then twenty. Now and the then AI then. counts up animals a little bit differently. So they've got a little reference chart here. So for sets of the any of these type of animals, they're gonna score like this. So it's any of these type of animals are gonna score like this. And any wild animals are gonna give them five, which is this. Yes, this is five. This is, let me have a look. Uh, so this one uh, falls yeah. into this this category here. Um, so this, this is like promote, promo cards. Ah, right, right, right. So this actually gets that. Mm -hmm. So if we go through, we've got two, three, this is six, there's nine. There's three of these. Yeah. yeah. Uh, two, so. That's nine so far. Eleven yes. in total. Two, which is three, so that's 14, 15. 15 it is. 51, 61. Okay. We'll see up. All right, what's next, Hen? Next, we can count up how many cards we have. Uh, only cards with the points, which is this uh, sort of black symbol on the card here. Yep. Um, we count up any in our burial and in our decks. But before we do that, we should actually do the burial scoring. That's right. That's right, yep. So uh, how this works is we look at this reference chart here. Whoever's got the highest on the track will get the top score. And whoever's second gets this and whoever's third or beyond will get this. So we just worry about these two top ones for us. So the AI is going to get 15 points, and we're going to get 10. Okay. And that's 76. Okay. And we can actually do the other side of this. So we can convert our resources into points. Yeah. So I'm going to have 11, and the bot's going to have 16. Yep. 15, no? And 10 plus 6, right? Is five. That five? Oh, no, 5. 5, yeah. 15. 15. 91. Okay. Now we'll go to the cards. That's the last thing, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't do anything anymore? So these, you flip them all over, and you're going to count That's all the, the points on the right. cards on those ones. Yep. Yeah. 
I have 17 points. Ooh. How did that AI do? 16 only. 16, wow. What? Let's add them up. And 10 is this. Now it's 17, so I go to 19, 29. Oh, and then these points. Uh, yeah, so we've done that. Oh, that's you've the, done that? That's the point conversion that's that we right, did. That's right, you've done it. Right. You've I done did yours. that as well, yeah. Bot has done. Is that mm -hmm. it? That's any, it. Any other points? I think I finally won, Oh Stella. my gosh! Da, 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 da. Congratulations. This is the... <laughs> You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> this is the first hand solo. If you've watched the previous hand yeah. solo, this is the first time that Henry won. Horrible crushing defeats up until now. So, mm. whew, You were pressure. doing really well when we play multiplayer. Of <laughs> so... I yeah. did. I had a pretty similar score to this game, actually. I thought I wasn't doing as well this game, but... Um, I you should be flip on. It. You need to flip the yeah, soap bar. Flip these soap bars. It looks nicer. <laughs> I think it was pretty similar. Most people got around the ninety point mark, and uh. I was like one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty, <sighs> something like that. Well done. You yeah. know how to combo things. You seem to know how to work this game. Yeah. Multiplayer it's, also, though. It's a brain burner, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, Just <laughs> <laughs> His brain's burnt. That's it. Done. My brain is officially burnt. Yes, yeah. but it was very like satisfying to get that That's win. That's good. That's uh, good. Yeah. It's and I feel like different ways as well of play. Again, mm. you know, I'm from the publisher side. I can't really say much about it, <laughs> but I've I mean, seen people play differently, and they are different points, you different ways of points to grab. Really focus on animals early and the person who came second in our game, in the first game that we played four player, they focused very heavily on animals and did pretty well. So yeah. definitely go down that road route. And I reckon there's a way to get two camps out on the first turn if you're like really crafty. I think so, yeah. I was trying to do it this game but I I got myself a bit muddled up and tripped over. <laughs> so, uh, you gotta focus in you gotta, something. Yeah, yeah. Not um, demand and like giving giving up your dreams, so you gave up your dreams on this one. That's okay, but you got all three out. And at the like, end. you can draw these villages as well, like these clansmen. I didn't really focus on these that much, but they are good because they draw directly into your hand when you get them, and you can get um, up to five with this action if you, as long as they're all different types. Yeah. So you can suddenly like with one action, you can give yourself five, like like five extra cards in your hand by doing a card action which is pretty cool and then you use these cards in the eclipse which i didn't do much of i think i used one card in the eclipse phase um yeah there's a way to make make use of that more um for sure that is it so uh, this is just a different look of the board yeah so that's like this is the more arty side and the yeah. other side is the more like a little bit easier to see i think to mark yep. out what's uh, what's on there so um, okay so there you go. That yeah. is, and finally, again, congratulations. So Thanks. Henry won. Finally got a win. Bot three. Yeah, Henry won bot three. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing <laughs> it back. That's okay. My way <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'm sure you'll be doing uh, very well the next one because when you practice, you actually won, but then it's like a lot of things that you need to consider yeah. the changing of cameras, maybe. Yeah, there is a bit of extra thing to consider, yeah. and I probably end up cheating when I play by myself. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't know. That. You, don't you don't. Know that. You don't. You don't know you that. Know but um, you be you're like very extra. Like make sure you do things correct when you're on camera. Sometimes when <laughs> yes, I'm at home, yeah. put that there. Put that yeah, there. Yeah. I'm, yeah, you know, that's, that's true. That's, that's true. correct. You know. Yeah. So. So um, yeah, that's that. You see, that's uh, Fantasia Games, and we are again the publish. Not we. Mm -hmm. I am <laughs> part of the Gov Studio, which is the localization in certain areas, mm. Australia and certain other areas. We've got the Malaysian rule book as well mm. in the box. Yeah. And so on. They all come together really well. And uh, um, I think I saw an unboxing of the um, designer. And his miniatures are all like washed. Like they had like oh, this nice wash to them. The Kickstarter one. I think the Kickstarters has are gonna have these. The wash so this is like yeah. the pre pre production copyright. Absolutely. So the, yeah. It's Absolutely not a hundred percent right. like basically finalized, but it's um yeah. Yeah, not, yeah. Not this everything. is not no, this is actually not the Kickstarter version as well. Yeah. The Kickstarter version so has got retail. the wash, yeah. yeah. So if you backed it, lucky you. Yeah. <laughs>
uh, yeah. So that's it. Awesome. Yeah, Thank you so much it. for playing again mm-hmm. and showing us Endless Winter Paleo Americans. Thanks. All right. See you. See ya.